All right, so when you first set up your Premiere project, you're gonna open up Adobe Premiere Pro CS5. And as that opens, there's a couple different options that you'll have to go through. Uh, the first and probably the most important thing on these computers is where you save it. So when you click on New Project, um, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's saved not in your C drive, which will be the default, but you're gonna switch to your Z drive. So in this case, I'm gonna actually put it in my T drive and I've got a folder set up inside a folder called scavenger hunt and then inside there I've got these four folders audio edit footage and graphics I'm gonna save the the file that I'm editing I'm gonna save in my edit folder so I'll click OK there so that's save that's choosing the folder and then I'm naming the file and I'll just call it last name underscore project four project for and then the next screen that comes up gives you the most options and you don't really have to know about many of these the default for you it'll be set here initially you don't want to leave it there that's going to give you the old you know 1990s style TV 4x3 screen you at least want to set it to some widescreen options all of these other options that you see in here are options for different cameras but if you're using a school camera it might have you know it might have this option it might have something else so you're just going to Choose one of the widescreen options and, and then name your sequence, same name, last name underscore project four, and then click OK. And you'll see when this comes up that you've got your widescreen up here. If you see that it looks more like a square and not widescreen, then you, know, you need to uh, go back and start over on that. You got your project panel up here and you're gonna import your video. One way to do that is just double clicking in this project panel and it'll pull up your hard drive. And I'm gonna click, I've, I've saved my video file in this footage folder and you might have several in here. You should have all of your, um, all of your scavenger hunt footage filmed. And then you'll just select that file and click open. Now there's one additional step to make sure that your sequence is set correctly. So I've got this video in here and as I double click it, it'll play in my source monitor and I can find where I want it to start and where I want it to stop. So if I set an endpoint at one point there and then I set an out point at one point, I might now click hold and drag this down to my um, timeline here. And as I do, I'll see that this is actually more zoomed in than I wanted it to be. I, I'm seeing less of my project here. So I know that the settings for this are not really correct. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this file and I'm gonna click, hold and drag it right down next to this icon right next to the trash can. It looks like a little page with a corner turning up and I'll drop it there. When I do, this will set up a new sequence with the correct settings. And so now it's not all zoomed in, it's got the correct settings. But now you'll see I've got two sequences set up here. So I can actually delete this first one that has the wrong settings. I can just drag it to the trash can. And then the second one that's named after my video, I know it's a sequence because it has this little icon that looks like a timeline there. I'm gonna rename it, last name underscore project four. And now I'm ready, I've got correct sequence settings and I'm ready to start dragging all my videos into that. Um, so that's how you, you set up your initial Premiere project with the uh, CS5.